Today we are heading to the small town of Banner Elk, North Carolina, about two hours from our hometown in Waynesville, North Carolina. From restaurants to lakes to mountain coasters. We're going to explore everything that Banner Elk has to offer. Come along with us. Oh, and let me just say, there's a whole lot more to do in Banner Elk, North Carolina than we thought. We have arrived here in Banner Elk, North Carolina. We never really got to spend as much time here as we wanted to, but this time we're staying here for the entire weekend. All right, so we are staying in the Happy Goat. There's actually two of them here, and uh, we're staying them on, on the left hand side, I guess, which is Happy Goat. And check out this doorway, y'all. It's like The Hobbit and Bilbo Baggins. It's like I'm in the Shire. All right, so Jen has made herself at home here already, sitting on the uh, large bean bag. Good morning. It's freezing. It's uh, 49 degrees here. I'm better off this morning, which is kind of crazy. I got my sweatshirt on. Had a great night's sleep here at Vines and Goats. A beautiful morning. Skies are clear, and we have a very busy day planned. So let's get moving. So it's called uh, Vines and Goats for a reason because there are actually goats here. So we're gonna walk down the trail here and see the goats. Yeah. What is this? Ooh, you're pretty too, aren't you, huh? You're all pretty. And yes, you are handsome. So we're over here in Tate Evans Park which is right in downtown Banner Elk. Um, weren't sure what to expect, but it's really nice. guys are visiting here in Banner Elk and you have a dog, this is a very dog friendly park as well. Banner House was a really interesting place to visit, and full of history about Banner Elk and vintage items as well. It provides some really valuable insight into the history of the town and the life that people lived back in the late 1800s. The staff that conducts the tours and runs the Banner House were just awesome, and we really enjoyed talking with them. We highly recommend you stop by. We are in downtown Banner Elk. Can we take you guys with us as we uh, just walk around town, explore some of the shops?
After exploring downtown Banner Elk a little, we headed over to Wildcat Lake. Wildcat Lake is a 13-acre lake located just a few minutes from downtown Banner Elk. The lake provides a white sand beach, swimming, fishing, kayaking, and canoeing. There are also picnic and cookout areas and playgrounds. The lake is gorgeous, surrounded by the mountains, and an awesome place to visit and just hang out with the family. Today, we're going to take you along with us as we paddle around the lake in a canoe. We are here at the uh, Banner Elk Winery. Like I said, just a stone's throw away from uh, vines and goats glamping where we're staying. And uh, we popped around the corner and got a bit of a surprise. It's uh, This is a busy place. So this is just an awesome winery. They have lots of both indoor and outdoor seating, a beautiful pond and live music on weekends. They make a number of different red and white wines and specialty wines, which you can do a tasting of or purchase by the glass or bottle. They also have some small plates of food as well. Lots of families were here enjoying the music, food, weather, and wine. We loved this winery. Food and service at LPO Main were way beyond our expectations. LPO Main is a fantastic restaurant that offers up a really unique menu. We enjoyed some drinks, appetizers, entrees, and desserts. We even tried the steak tartare, which was a first for us. Sushi. LP on Main is one of our top picks for the best restaurants in Banner Elk. See our link in description for a full list. After a very busy day in Banner Elk, North Carolina, it was time to relax for a bit before heading to bed. We enjoyed our evening together by the fire at Vines and Goats and soon called it a night. We had another busy day ahead of us. Good morning. We are at, where are we at? Fred and Larry's Coffee House here in Banner Elk, grabbing some coffee for breakfast. One of the really cool things about this coffee shop is they support Marines. So they have a Marine flag blowing right out front and they have a sign right down here that says, welcome home, we support our Marines. So as a Marine family, that means a lot to us. So we appreciate that. We are going to finish up this amazing coffee and head over to the alpaca farm.
Abdullah Farms is located out in the country about 20 minutes from downtown Banner Elk, North Carolina. The farm provides tours of this working animal farm with pigs, donkeys, horses, goats, cows, and alpacas. This is a great family-friendly event that is both fun and educational. We really enjoy meeting all the animals and seeing this beautiful farm. We're in downtown Banner Elk. We're going to head over to the Banner Elk Cafe and grab some lunch. Wilderness Run is two super cool attractions at one location. The first is an adventure course where you'll cross bridges, ropes, and other challenges to try to ring the bell, all while 30 to 40 foot above the ground. The second is an alpine coaster where you'll shoot down the mountain at 30 miles per hour through twists and turns. We did both, and the adventure course definitely challenged us. Thanks to the staff who really helped and encouraged us. And the alpine coaster, well, it's just plain awesome, and one of the very best in the Blue Ridge Mountains. Here on the Motors Run Mountain Coaster here in Banner Elk. Um, I've been looking forward to this all week. Um, love these things. Much better than the high ropes course you just saw us on. Currently on the part right now that takes you up to the top. And then when you get to the top, you can uh, you go zooming down. And there, there's actually some controls on it that lets you control how fast you go. So you can kind of adjust it to, to how you know, exhilarating you want it, I guess. So uh, definitely recommend this. Give it a shot. And uh, we'll show you some footage of uh, me going down. You guys will see me shooting down the mountain. Hopefully you're not shooting off the mountain. So uh, enjoy. All right, so you can see right here, it says push handles forward now. So this is when you basically tell it to go as fast as it wants. The mine are fully forward. And we're gonna leave it like that the whole way down here. No full tilt, no brakes. <laughs> All right, so we are here in 102. It should be right here. All right, so we got a couch. Nice big screen TV. We got coffee. Oh, wow, we got a jacuzzi tub. Check this out. Oh, wow, we got a separate room with a bed. Very nice little sitting area. Special thanks to the Best Western here in Banner Elk for accommodating us at the last minute. Really appreciate it. We've stayed here a number of times we've been to Banner Elk, but this is by far the nicest room we've had. Stonewall's restaurant is located right in the heart of downtown Banner Elk, North Carolina. It is one of the original town restaurants. They specialize in steaks, but have many other wonderful menu items to choose from. The service and food is top notch. We really enjoyed our dinner and especially the steak, which was one of the best we've ever had. Stonewall's is another pick for best restaurants in Banner Elk, North Carolina. So be sure to check out our full list in the description below.
The entrance to Grandfather Mountain is about 15 minutes from Manor Elk, North Carolina. From the gates, you'll head up the gorgeous and curvy entry road up to the top where you'll find the Mile High Bridge and absolutely incredible views of the surrounding Blue Ridge Mountains. Grandfather Mountain also has a nature center with exhibits, live animals, numerous overlooks for scenic views, hiking trails, a restaurant, picnic areas, and much more. We're going to show you everything there is to see at Grandfather Mountain. Be sure to check out our Grandfather Mountain guide, link in the description. We decided to head back down the mountain to visit the Wilson Nature Center. Our hope was that the wind and rain would slow down a little bit by the time we went back up. We explored the Nature Center, visited the animals, and grabbed some lunch at Mildred's Cafe. After visiting the animals, it was time for some lunch. Mildred's Cafe is located in the Wilson Nature Center and is the main restaurant at Grandfather Mountain. They have a number of different menu items, including the Mile High Burger. You can also get ice cream, pie, fudge, and cookies. There are both indoor and outdoor seating options. We found the food to be very reasonably priced and good as well. We ordered the Mile High Cheeseburger and the Chicken Wrap, and of course, we had to have a slice of pie. Wrapped up having a uh, really good lunch at Mildred's Cafe here at Grandfather in the, uh, in the Wilson Center right here behind me. It's still pretty windy but the sun's out so we're going to try to head back up to the uh, top and maybe try to get across the uh, Mile High Bridge assuming the wind's gusts are at like 80 to 100 miles an hour like they were earlier. On the way back up we stopped at a few overlooks, visited Forest Gump Curve and saw a deer. In the blockbuster movie Forrest Gump, there was a scene where Forrest was running across the U.S. and in the Blue Ridge Mountains. The scene was filmed at Grandfather Mountain in Forrest Gump Curve. Some movie trivia though, it was not Tom Hanks in the scene, but his brother. Well, we came back up to the top. We are uh, still sitting in the car. It is The wind is still, I mean, absolutely blowing. I, I've never, I mean, it, we've seen some bad weather up here. I've never seen it blow like this. If it clears up, we'll go up. Um, I don't know, I'll probably go up anyway, even if it doesn't clear up. I'm just not really sure there's going to be much for you guys to see, but we'll, uh, we'll see. All right, guys, we are going to go up onto the bridge. This thing is backing off any hand. I'm going to show you guys what this is like. So I uh, don't want to come up here for nothing, so uh, here we go.
All right, so I made it across the bridge. It's uh, not as bad here. There's a little bit of a windbreak from the rocks. It's cold. The wind is blowing so hard, and the rain is just pelting the side of your face. It's like painful. So I'm going to go back across, and I'll film this way so you guys can actually see me here. Uh, this is nuts. This is about, sorry, this is about as strong as I have seen it. My uh, mic's about to blow off here, so hopefully you guys can still be able to hear me. So here we go back across. camera here so I'll lose my camera. We've been up here many times. It's never been blowing this hard. This is crazy. I don't know if you can hear or not, but there's like a sound like a whistling. It's the wind blowing through the baffles of the bridge. The guy said it kind of has a harmonica effect. down a little bit all right so I made it across you can see the bridge there behind me they're uh, not wanting anybody to go on up across so uh, they didn't say I couldn't do it they're just highly recommending we don't so I'm not going to so I'm gonna head back to the car here all right so back in the car I, I don't know how to even describe that other than to tell you that it was like standing in the middle of a hurricane uh, that's about the closest approximation or closest description I can give for you guys. Um, so pretty amazing. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, hope it was worth it for me to do that. This wraps up our weekend adventure in the amazing town of Banner Elk, North Carolina. To say we had a great time would be an understatement. We loved Banner Elk. Great restaurants, beautiful scenery, and lots of things to do and see. If you get a chance, we definitely recommend visiting Banner Elk, North Carolina. Be sure to see all of our Banner Elk guides linked in the description. And we'll see you on the next adventure.